Welcome to Millinery Hills Winery. I'm Larry Goddard, the proprietor of Millinery Hills Winery here in Florence at the Goddard's Red Hand Farm. Uh, we're, we have about 12 different wines to taste. Um, we go from dry to sweet on the whites, dry to sweet on the reds. And what we'll be tasting uh, today is our Cabernet Sauvignon, it's a 2010 Cabernet Sauvignon that spent uh, about 14 months on oak, uh, in both new and, uh, and French oak, American oak and French oak. Um, it's a totally dry wine, nice uh, fruit characteristics to it. Uh, you get the fruit all the way through, so it finishes nice sweet fruit flavors, uh, but it's a totally dry wine, about 14.7% alcohol, but you wouldn't know it when you taste this wine. It's one of our more popular wines. Uh, we're pretty low on a 2010 cab, but we're soon to be bottling, and I've got a 2011 cab uh, that's uh, right along the same lines as this one. Uh, we also have uh, Chardonnays, uh, a couple of Chardonnays, which are my dry whites. I have a variety called Saval Blanc, which is a silver medal winning wine at the Northeast Wine Competition. Uh, that one uh, is a semi-dry uh, semi dry wine with uh, fruit flavors like uh, citrus fruit flavors, uh, sort of like grapefruit in the nose. Uh, finish is very, very nice, but it's semi-dry. And then we do have some sweet wines. Uh, on the white side, Cayuga's, Cayuga White's our sweet wine. Uh, we also have uh, Noho Blush. Well, we don't have it now, but it'll soon be bottled uh, again. And we'll have Noho Blush, which is a wine that's uh, based on a Chardonnay grape that I picked at UMass. And it's blushed very slightly with a variety called Chamberson. On the red side, we have um, the Cabernet, like we were tasting here, a variety called Frontenac, picked at UMass and in my vineyard. And that's my semi-dry uh, red wine. And then we go to a couple sweet wines, uh, Red Hen Reds, a fruity sangria-like red uh, that we produce for the sweet wine lovers. We have a blueberry wine, Wicked Blue we call it. And uh, we also have an apple wine and, and honey wine mead. We're beekeepers here at Goddard's Red Hen Farm, so uh, we use our own honey uh, in our formulation for our mead and usually use about three and a half pounds of honey uh, per gallon of mead made. Uh, that's more of a semi-dry uh, mead, a nice clear and crisp uh, mead that we make. We uh, make all our wines here, uh, even though some of our grapes are imported grapes. There's two kinds of grapes uh, that are, are typical. They're called French American hybrids, and they're called uh, vinifera type grapes. Vinifera type grapes are the grapes you, you, you know, the names of Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, uh, Pinot Noir. And it, as it turns out, uh, you can't grow those very successfully here in Western Mass. At least I can't grow them here in Northampton. Uh, so I've given up on those. I've tried Riesling and, and failed and pulled those out of the ground. I've tried a variety called Cabernet Franc and pulled those out of the ground. What I focus on is French American hybrids. Uh, the varieties you have to explain a little bit more, but they're just, they make fine wines. Frontenac, uh, a variety called Chardonnay, which I made my Noho Blush out of, uh, things like that. Saval Blanc, Cayuga varieties you've, they were developed at Cornell, and, and you find them up a lot in the Finger Lakes areas. Uh, Chamberson is also a French American hybrid. Uh, so that's what I grow here. And I also pick at the UMass Vineyard in Belchertown. We actually own to the top of the ridge up that way. We own about an acre of uh, acre of apples. We own we do about a quarter acre of grapes at this time. Our plan is to add uh, a couple more uh, acres of grapes uh, sometime in the future. Uh, so that's that's what we do here. Uh, we use our, our own apples plus apples from from local area uh, for our for our apple wine. Uh, we also sell sweet apple cider in season. Sell our blueberries in season uh, also, and sell of course apples. Uh, in season along with the honey we do. There, there's a tremendous benefit to, to being located where we are. Uh, we've had a great deal of support uh, from organizations like CESA, uh, from the local community, from my neighbors. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's been an outpouring. It, it's, it's been surprising. Uh, and, and someone advised me, one of the other wineries uh, uh, out in Hardwick, uh, that she basically told me, if you build it, they will come, and, and indeed it's true. Uh, first thing she did, she did say to me when she saw my, my tasting uh, bar, which is only 70 feet long, 8 feet long, was, it's too short, you need more space. And indeed, uh, indeed she's right. 
uh, it, the outpouring of support is, is incredible. And we were also able to uh, uh, get our, our winery and, and sell our products at the Northampton's Farmers Market where we, we meet a lot of fun people and a, and a lot of people who like local products. Uh, so uh, they've really supported us in a, in a big way.